Hello, and welcome to another edition of the Emotions Expert. I'm John Rushton. It may seem a funny topic, but a lot of people, when I speak to them, are often discuss about themselves and who they are. And the topic is, who am I? Because who are you? Do you know who you are as a person? And it's a bit of a silly question because you may think, well, of course I know who I am. But a lot of people don't. They know who they are not. And they know all their faults and foibles and everything else. But they're not sure quite who they are as a person. What do you do in life? Where are you going? Why are you, are, are you like you are? Uh, who do you like? Why are the things you do? What are the things, where do you want to go? All of these kind of things, they're all rushing through your mind as to who you are. And it makes up a unique person. You are a unique person. You're not a construct of anybody else. You shouldn't be under somebody else's thumb <clears throat> or somebody else's finger as to what they want you to do or how they want you to do this. I mean, if you're doing a job, obviously there are certain circumstances you have to adhere to that. But as a person, you should be a free spirit. You should do exactly what you want to do, when you want, how you want, because this is you. It's how you think and how you feel. And I know there are people who are incredibly intelligent and I know there are people who are incredibly thick. But in between there are millions and millions and millions or trillions of people who actually have a life of their own and they have an idea what they want to do in life and it may be a grandiose idea or it may be something very mediocre it doesn't matter whatever your idea of in life is yours and that's the most important thing because the most important thing in life is you no nobody else it's not your partner your friends your family or siblings whatever it's you because if you're not important then you're no good to anybody else and you can't share your importance with somebody else if you are below par you cannot help anybody up because there's nowhere to help them to except on your level. You've got to be the kingpin. You've got to be the top of the range as best you can, because then you can help people. You can bring them up. You can do what you want, because the world is at your disposal. And you should actually leave your ego and arrogance and everything, and well, look at them. They've got this, and he's got that, and she's got something else. And all of this kind of, that's nothing to do with you. That is them. And you don't know their story or why, or if they are good or bad or whatever it may be, or what even may happen to them, because suddenly they may collapse and drop dead. And then you don't want to be like them, do you? So you want to be like yourself. You are the person you are, and you've got to make the best of it because you are the best person at being you. Nobody else is the best person at being you. You are the best person at being you. And if you do stupid things, then you will get things to follow you which are not very nice. And it's your own volition because you've done them. Nobody else has done them. Nobody else will ever walk in your shoes. Nobody else will do anything that you want to do. You have to do it yourself. So all this whinging, moaning, complaining, and it's not fair, and it's this, and oh, what happened in the past? It's a load of rubbish. What happened in the past has died. It's not going to come back anymore. You are here. You are here. And now you are going to go forward. Your future is in the future. It's not anywhere else. Your future is based on what you're going to do now. So if you're going to complain about the past and what your ancestors did or people 15 million years ago did or all of this kind of stupid thing, you're retarding your ability to be anybody good. You're just making yourself look like a brain idiot idiot big mouth small brain little promise and nothing's going to materialistically come out which is positive at all it's all about you you have got to be the the sole survivor of everything you do in life you've got to do take the good with the, with the not so good all of these kind of things you've got to be the person that actually promotes yourself and it doesn't mean you've got to go around shouting around, I'm doing this, I'm doing that. But when something happens, you've got to make it work. You've got to do something for yourself. You've got to apply for the jobs which you want. You've got to do the best you can within those jobs. 
And it doesn't matter what the jobs are, because every job has importance to it. You can't, just because somebody is getting paid lots and lots of money, doesn't mean their job is any more important, because those people who are getting paid lots and lots of money, if they drop dead, they'd be replaced tomorrow. So it shows you their importance in life. They are transitory, just like yourself. You've got to do what you need to do, and you've got to understand that you are important in doing what you do. You've got to share the love of yourself and those around you. You've got to make the best you can. You've got to enjoy the light, your life, the best you can. You've got to be happy, and happiness is a choice. You, can't, you can give somebody something and it'll make them happy for a very, very short space of time and then that'll wear off and that could be just a matter of minutes or an hour or something or giving somebody a birthday cake and within half an hour it's been eaten and then it's gone, it's finished, it's no purpose, it's been served, it's all over with. Now what? So you've got to make sure that you've decided, regardless of circumstances, to be happy. Because this is what your life is about. Don't blame anybody else. Don't blame other people. And I keep saying this because people do consistency, consistently blame other people and circumstances and situations. If only, if only, if only this would happen, that would happen. Well, sometimes these things do happen. And they're still dull, dull boring idiots because they haven't changed their mental mentality. It's on this endless loop going round again and again and again and again and again and nothing materialistically happens which is positive. You have got to understand where you are in life, the people around you, if the people around you are not very nice or, or they're letting you down or they're always whinging and moaning or they're negative, then change them. You're not a tree, you're not planted in the ground with roots. You can walk, you can move, you can get away. Change Change your environment and don't say, oh, well, I can't, it's this and that and something else. You can change your environment. You can change so much in your daily life, the people you, to, you talk to, your friends, even the, your family and your interaction with your family. If they are negative people, and some families are very negative, oh, you can't do this, oh, your brother did that and look what happened, oh, you know, you, when you were little this happened, I wouldn't do this, you know, full of doom and gloom. Keep away from them. Don't tell them what you're doing. Then, Therefore, you're not going to get any feedback. Don't fuel people with stuff by telling them things about what you want to do, where you want to go, because the moment you do that, you lose the impetus. You lose the excitement. And then you get bombarded by stupid questions from them. Oh, I thought you said you were going to do this. Well, I'm not. I'm doing this. Why are you doing it? You're always changing your mind. I can change my mind whenever I like. And all of this kind of stuff. This is absolutely pathetic conversation. You've got to understand that you are the kingpin. So don't go letting your yourself down rambling aimlessly about things to say when there's really nothing to say whatsoever. Be the person you feel you ought to be. And this is not going by sort of illusions of grandeur or anything like this. You've got to aim for something in life, even if it's just happiness, because your happiness is not a destination. It's a way there. It's a route. It's the travel which is the happiness, because you'd never reach it otherwise. These things you've got to take into account, and the more you can take a grasp on who you are, what you want to do, where you want to go, how you want to do it, in your time, in your level, when you think, when you feel, not because people are rumbling on around you saying this and that, because that's all about them. It's nothing to do with you. That's their version of your life, but it is not your life. It's somebody else's version. And don't be frightened of telling them to shut up and say, listen, mind your own business. What I do is my business. I don't need this constant plugging from you and moaning and groaning of what you think I should do and why I did that. I'm happy doing what I'm doing. If I make my mistakes, I'm happy making mistakes because it makes me a better person. It means I understand life and I'm moving forward. Because if you don't make mistakes, you never do anything. You never go anywhere and you become a dull, boring fart and there are plenty of those around. Don't join the club and be one of those people. Be the person person you want to be, enjoy it, smile every day, make friends with everybody, don't sort of take them on board, but just nod and smile.
smile or do something, you'll find you'll elevate your life. You will elevate who you are, where you are. You'll make communications far, far easier. Make sure people understand what you like and don't complain that, well, they did this and this, just well, they didn't know anything else because you didn't tell them. So don't be a stupid idiot and not say anything and expect people to be mind readers because they're not. Do something for yourself. Be positive and enjoy your life.